Today we will be installing the Resolute series Underbed Gooseneck Complete Hitch with Pop-In Ball Kit, part number 30158-68, into a 2015 Chevy Silverado 3500 heavy duty pickup with an 8 foot bed. To prepare for and ensure a quick and quality installation of this Resolute series rail kit, check all of the parts against the parts list included with the instructions. This will also help familiarize yourself with the parts in the kit. During this installation, we will be using the following tools. To begin, remove all the passenger side truck bed bolts, holding the truck bed to the truck frame. Loosen but leave in place the driver side bed bolts to maintain truck bed alignment. Lift the rear passenger side of the truck bed and insert wood blocks to provide the required clearance to insert two underbed base rails. Check to assure no wires, fuel fill lines, or other items attached to the bed are stressed. For the sake of the video, we will lower the spare tire. This will also provide more room while installing the kit. Underneath the truck, locate and remove the rear heat shield by unscrewing the attachment screws. The lower third of the heat shield will need to be trimmed in order to provide clearance when inserting the base rails. We will begin the base rail installation on the passenger side of the vehicle. With the flat side up, insert the first base rail above the frame through the rear wheel well and slide it parallel to the rear axle behind the rear hat channel. Lift the rail into position so that it sits on the frame and rests evenly on both sides. Slide the second base rail through the same wheel well and position it parallel to the axle behind the fuel cell and forward to the rear hat channel, making sure the rail rests on the frame evenly on both sides. For trucks with a bed shorter than eight feet, please refer to the provided installation manual for proper placement of the base rails. Once the base rails are in place, insert the welded nut and spacer assembly through the opening of the rails and over the bolt holes. Next, loosely attach the passenger side frame brackets to the rails using the 3 4 inch hex bolts and conical washers. Repeat this same process to attach the driver side frame bracket. After the brackets have been fastened to the rails, we will loosely attach the frame brackets to the frame. Thread the provided pull wire through both bolt holes of the frame bracket, then through the access hole on the back of the vehicle frame. Attach the 5 8 inch carriage bolts and square hole spacers to the pull wire and guide it back through the chassis using the access hole. Loosely attach the 5 8 inch conical washers and nuts to the bolts on the outside of the frame bracket. Repeat these steps to attach the frame bracket on the driver's side of the vehicle. After all the brackets have been attached, reinstall the remainder of the heat shield that was removed earlier. Reinstall the bolts holding the truck bed to the truck frame and torque to the manufacturer's specification listed in the vehicle's owner manual. Next, we are going to measure and mark where to drill the 8th inch pilot holes in the bed of the truck, where the Resolute 5th wheel pucks will fit into the underbed mounting rail system. First measure side to side in the truck bed to find its center and draw a straight vertical line. From the center line, we will measure 15 inches to the left and 15 inches to the right. Draw two more vertical lines down the truck bed. For this eight foot bed, we will then measure 36 and 5 16 inches from the rear edge of the truck bed to mark the rear puck hole center. For trucks with a bed shorter than eight feet, please refer to the provided installation manual for proper measurements. From the rear puck hole center, measure 13 inches toward the truck's cab to mark the forward puck hole center. Repeat these steps on both sides of the truck bed to locate all four puck hole centers. Once complete, check your measurements by measuring diagonally to see your marks are square to each other. Use a center punch to create a dimple to drill your pilot holes. Under the truck, remove the bolts attaching the frame brackets to the mounting rails. Move the base rails rearward or forward to prevent interference when drilling the puck location holes in the truck bed. Before drilling, check underneath the truck bed for any potential risks to the vehicle's components, such as brake lines and fuel tanks, and make appropriate safeguards to protect them from damage. Back in the bed of the truck, drill four pilot holes, then use a three and one quarter inch hole saw to drill your puck hole locations. If needed, File the edges of the newly drilled holes and apply a coat of touch-up paint to help prevent against rust. 
Next, move the base rails back into place and loosely reattach them to the frame brackets. From the truck bed, attach the pucks and trim rings to the rails using a 5 8 inch flat washer, button head screw, and lock washer. Use a torque wrench to tighten the pucks to 100 foot-pounds. Place your pre-assembled Resolite fifth wheel hitch into the pucks and secure in place. With the Resolite fifth wheel hitch fitting easily into the puck mounts, you are now ready to tighten all the hardware to final torque specification. First, torque all three quarter inch hex bolts, attaching the base rails to the frame brackets to 260 foot-pounds. Then torque all the 5 8 inch rail kit hex bolts, attaching the frame brackets to the truck frame to 170 foot-pounds. The Resolite fifth wheel hitch is now ready to safely tow. When the Resolite fifth wheel hitch is removed, you will have full use of the truck bed without any interference. With the Resolite underbed mounting rail already installed for the fifth wheel, you can now go ahead and install the Resolite series underbed bolt-on gooseneck head with pop and ball. To begin, mark the center line of the bed measuring between the fender wells. Using the center line, measure 45 and 3 quarter inches from the rear edge of the truck bed to mark the gooseneck center. Center punch a dimple on your center mark, then drill a pilot hole. Using a 3 and 1 half inch hole saw, drill the opening of the gooseneck assembly, file the edges of the newly drilled hole, and apply a coat of touch-up paint to help prevent against rust. Underneath the truck bed, lift the gooseneck assembly to align with the gooseneck bolt holes located on the bottom of the fifth wheel base rails. Using the 3 quarter inch hex bolts and tooth conical washers, attach the gooseneck assembly to the rails. From the bed of the truck, check that the collar of the gooseneck assembly aligns with the opening cut earlier. Once the top of the gooseneck collar is aligned, tighten the gooseneck hardware to the proper torque specification of 180 foot-pounds. Notice how easy the Resolite pop-in ball inserts into the gooseneck receiver and also how easy the safety chain loops lock into place. When not in use, these hitch attachments can be quickly and easily removed, allowing for full, unobstructed use of the truck bed. That wraps up the installation of the Resolite Series Under Bed Gooseneck Complete Hitch with Pop-In Ball Kit, part number 30158-68.